Hi, Cancers. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with cancer. I said cancers. <laughs> what the heck? But yeah, there's many cancers. Hi, cancers. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is going to be for anybody with cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and booking your readings with me. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. Um, sending you a lot of peace, happiness, love, and joy on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms, guys. Um, this is going to be your next 72-hour prediction. Okay, timing is fluid. So this could be happening now in the present. It's ongoing. Or this could have happened in the past and it's coming back up for a reason. Okay, um, or this could be future tense for some of you. Okay, if it's not happening now, if it doesn't resonate, it can happen in the future for some of you. Okay, so let's tap in Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cancers. Protect me as I channel for Cancer. I'm hearing something about, um, I'll be having to hurry up and say it as I'm like, because I don't want to forget it, but. Because it could resonate for somebody or this could be confirmation that this is your reading. Something about um, hiking. Okay, you could be going on a hike. Okay, somebody could live in Arizona. You could be going on a hike or I'm hearing something about your bicycle. You could be driving, like I said driving. You could be riding your bicycle here. You could be like exercising or something like that or trying to get back into getting getting in shape or like in nature or something like that. Some of y'all could be purchasing a bicycle or even wanting to do that. I feel like you should. Okay, I miss bike riding myself. Okay, something about spaghetti could be significant. Somebody could be making spaghetti or they had spaghetti last night. Okay, someone could be Haitian. You could be Haitian or you're dealing with somebody that's Haitian. Okay, I'm getting something about a cult. Okay, there could be a Haitian person. Nothing wrong with it because I, I love Haitian people. <laughs> uh, but somebody could be doing like voodoo. Okay, voodoo, hoodoo. There's like a Haitian person that's in a call that's a bit dark. Okay, so I don't know who that's for. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody could be a receptionist in an office. I'm getting a doctor's office. Okay, let's see what's coming in for cancer. Some of you guys have a package coming in like two days. <laughs> what? Sorry. I don't know why I'm channeling this. Y'all can have a package coming in two days, so just pay attention. You know, people be stealing packages and stuff. What's going on here? Or spirit is gifting you something or giving you something in two days. What's coming in for cancer in the uh in the next 72 hours. Damn. Be mindful of your surroundings and the company you keep as you will be feeling sensitive to the energies of others at this time, which could in turn affect your vibrations. Yeah, I got something like that for Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, let's see what else. Within the next few months, you will find that you are being pushed out of your comfort zone by external forces in order to, excuse me, induce and promote growth. Taurus had that in Aquarius. I forgot somebody else had that too. What else for cancer? What else for the next 72 hours? The loss of a loved one will be inevitable. Spirit will send you supportive energies at this time. You know, in Virgo, I did channel a death, okay? I don't know. Or this could be like you just getting rid of them, like you're putting them out of your energy or you're leaving them behind. But I did get somebody could be passing away. Okay, we're going to see. Or this could just be like an inevitable ending with somebody. Like it's just inevitable. It's meant to happen that way. You guys are supposed to separate or something. What else? Then we have, you may soon face an unexpected loss that will affect your finances and cause constraints. Plan ahead and budget for a rainy day. Yeah, go watch Virgo's reading. 
okay? A man is coming or will be or will come in between you and your beloved. So there could be a man. I got a Virgo man in Virgo's reading that could be doing something. Mm, but there could be a man that could, that's okay. I feel like we need to clarify that too. That's important. But let's see. <laughs> let's see what we got for right now. And then I'll look at that in a minute. Let's see. Um, or they ass probably gonna come out in this spread. There could be a man passing away for some of you. You know, I'm sorry to hear that. Death. I don't wish death on my worst enemy. Yeah, two of swords, the ten of swords, the three of swords, and seven of cups. 13, that's 10 and 3, that's the death card. Something is definitely, it's ending. Okay, I don't know if it's actual death. It, I don't know, child, but what's up? Uh, be mindful of your surroundings and the company you keep. Be mindful of your surroundings. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Jupiter. Yeah. So, um, okay, Ace of Cups. I feel like meditation will work really good for you. Like, you don't have to do do the normal meditating. Like, mm, you don't have to do it that way. It's plenty of ways to meditate. Like for me, meditation is driving. I like to drive. Okay, it's just therapeutic for whatever reason. I like to go on drives, especially late at night. I did it more when it was warmer outside. Now it'd be cold as shit. I don't like it. Because I like to have my windows down and my roof open and all that. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, just getting out in nature so you can think clear. Whatever clears your mind, okay? It's good meditation. Um, But yeah, so the Two of Pentacles, I feel like there's a need for you to stay open and flexible at this time. You could be juggling a lot. You're trying to handle everything, but I feel like you're you're maintaining a good balance, okay? Um, your finances could be fluctuating at this time, or I don't really feel like it's financial, but it could be. I feel like you're doing a good job at maintaining it, though, because there's balance coming in here. There could be balance coming in in your love life as well. Something is balancing between you and someone else this is definitely something that could lead into marriage i feel like it's everlasting it's this is like the infinity sign so something somebody could drive an infinity okay but yeah something is going to last between this this connection that's coming in here <laughs> so there could be people or their energy is affecting whatever this is it's getting you spirit is getting you prepared for this it's affecting your energy a bit like what's the two of pentacles the fool in reverse yeah what's the two of pentacles with the fool in reverse the tower <laughs> okay yeah there's like distractions or um reckless energies around you or people causing chaos or there's just like the energy is chaotic because divine intervention is here the tower is coming in to to cause an ending or to cause some sort of destruction of something that was here that needs to be gone in order for whatever this is to come in could be dealing with an aquarius or aries yeah somebody around you could be behaving like stupidly they don't want to transform or change or release something Feel like you know you're doing a good job at maintaining this though. Okay, be careful of your driving at this time. There could be a car crash here. Somebody is reckless driving or aggressive driving. Please be careful. What's the ace of cups? Somebody could drive a Hyundai. Three of cups. Yeah, ace of cups, three of cups, spirit. Cancer, Mercury, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm, the magician in reverse and the hierophant <laughs> so there's a need for you to keep having faith in whatever this is there could be a reconciliation coming in within three to four months for some of you it doesn't have to be um you could be getting ready to meet new people if this is something brand new for you and you're walking away from something and you're actually open to change and walking away from it something new is coming in for you okay um and i feel like it's going to be long lasting but this could be a reunion between two people that's coming in too virgo gemini taurus is here I feel like there's just a lack of clarity. Like you don't know what's coming in. This is a test of your faith, okay? With the Hierophant upright and the Magician in reverse, you're lacking clarity. 
So your faith needs to be stronger than your fear at this time. You need to kind of like keep moving forward. Trust that whatever this is, is happening. Okay, this is definitely a celebratory time. There's a commitment, a contract coming in that's divinely guided. Okay, you could be making new friends in like the spiritual community or you could be meeting people at church if you're into church or whatever the case may be. Um, but there is, there are trickster energies here around you. There's somebody that's being a trickster or there's, what's the magician in reverse? The two of swords, yeah. Stalemate, like anxiety, feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, not really knowing what's happening or what's the, someone could have a Libra moon. What's the magician with the two of swords? Yeah, eight of swords. This is magic, okay? So, <laughs> okay, just watch your thinking, okay? Because this is a time of manifesting. You are manifesting something good. It's coming. You need to keep, you know, stay the course. All right, stay the course. There could be a group of people in some sort of cult. I channeled that too for Virgo. Cult coven, let's do magic, okay? So, um, you need to watch how you're thinking at this time. Do anything that's going to keep you happy. Not anything crazy, but I'm saying like, um, like I said, get back in out in nature or go out, go to the bar. Or, you know, if you drink or something, go have your little drink or whatever. Well, I don't know. It just depends on the kind of person you are. Because, I mean, these kind of demonic energies and entities and whatever else these people be doing, they, they attach to low vibrational energies, okay? And I mean, we all have a drink every now and then. I I, ju I just drink wine, but if I'm out, I'll probably have like a daiquiri or margarita, a lemon drop or something like that. <laughs> like somebody could be a bartender. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with having a drink. I feel like you're well aware enough about what you're doing when you're tipsy or drunk or whatever the fuck, right? I mean, that's just you having a good time. As long as you're not overindulging anything, too much of anything is bad, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Like go out, you know, have a good time. Just be careful. All right, be careful. Um, but uh, let's see, what's the Hierophant? Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Marriage, stability, security. Um, building generational wealth here, legacy. This is beautiful. Whatever this contract is, it's God ordained. So, and it's love too. So you need to be getting prepared, okay? And maintain this energy, have control, be open, be flexible to the changes, adapt to your uh, your surroundings, okay? Yeah, the strength card, the night wand. What's up? Within the next few months, you will find that you are being pushed out of your comfort zone. Temperance, okay. Sagittarius, this one within the next few months okay the sun in reverse the moon so i feel like you could be disappointed in something or you could have been disappointed in something here with the sun in reverse like but i feel like you're healing from it or you're just trying to maintain balance or you're going to have to because something could be quite disappointing all right, um, you could be done with the Leo. This whatever these events are that's happening over these next few months is definitely divinely orchestrated, divinely guided. It's for something to come into balance. It's for you to come into balance with yourself and also with a particular person, is what I feel strong to. Um, the sun in reverse is definitely like somebody's sad or miserable or disappointed, having high expectations for something, but then being let down. Okay, so this is sun in reverse. The lovers, Gemini energy. What's the sun in reverse with the lovers? The world, okay. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini here. Hmm. That could be somebody else's ass that's being let down. But if you had high hopes of being with somebody and it's not what you thought it was going to be and it's over then I could be you. But there's a new beginning here with your connection. So if this is new for you, you could be meeting new people, a new soulmate is coming in, a kindred spirit, a friend, uh, 
you know, whoever, or, you know, that somebody's going to be a romantic partner. For those of you that are for divine, that are in divine counterpart connections, like you're with the twin flame, there's a new beginning coming with that. I feel like something is growing stronger between you and somebody and somebody else is mad about it. I feel like there's a need for you to like, uh, don't have any high expectations, like really just go with the flow. Okay. There's a need for you to just flow with things. Some of y'all could be moving or traveling. You could be seeing this person where you're at soon. Okay, in order for y'all two to come together, somebody's going to have to move, relocate. You could be seeing this person in your world, like wherever your little world is at, wherever you're at, this person could be showing up there. It, something, something here could be significant about a faded meeting between you and somebody. There's this wholeness to this completion within yourself. So it's like you're reconciling with yourself as well. Okay, yeah, very nice. What's the temperance? Okay, Knight of Cups, yeah, in reverse. What's the temperance with the Knight of Cups in reverse? 909 on the clock. And the Nine of Cups. Mm. This is coming out a lot. Some of you guys could be healing from dealing with somebody, a third party that's that got pregnant. Okay, and it's not your child. This person is pregnant because they're sleeping around. I had a cup in reverse. A lot of one night stand energy here. Okay, I feel like um, this night of cups in reverse too is like obsession. Somebody's obsessed with you or your person. They're obsessed with you. I feel like somebody's been trying to cause trouble or they are a troublemaker. Spirit is going to, to divinely guide somebody to um, open up or follow their heart in a situation. With the Knight of Cups, I could talk about somebody is not liking confrontation. Okay, but you're their wish fulfillment. Somebody doesn't want to confront you about something, but they're going to be guided to in the next few months to do so. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? But somebody here could be pregnant, though, off a of one-night stand or sleeping around or whatever the fuck. Yeah, Six of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Six of Cups. Scorpio, the King of Wands. Who does King of Wands? Leo of Energy. Who the King of Wands? Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. So this could be this man. A man will come between you and your beloved. This could be somebody you got kids with. This person is going to cause trouble. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be protected from this person. For some of you, this is your actual masculine. This person here was dealing with somebody in the past and um, they were taking on the responsibility of a child that wasn't theirs. This could be somebody from their past, but this person doesn't know or didn't know rather that they're obsessed with them or this is your story too though. So somebody's trying to cause trouble, but I feel like you're you're being protected. You just need to do things in moderation, stay on course, 9-11 on the clock. Okay. It's somebody from your past that just stresses y'all the fuck out. Like, you don't like dealing with they stupid ass. Okay. It's like, you don't like dealing with them. What's the Nine of Cups? They can have Leo, Sagittarius, and HR. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody's heartbroken about this wish that's coming in for you. Somebody's mad because they're not. You're focusing on yourself. You're pulling your energy back. This is you pampering yourself. Somebody is upset about it. Or you getting you getting this relationship? What's the loss of a loved one will be inevitable? Eight of Cups in reverse. What's the loss of a loved one will be inevitable by spirit? King of Cups. Scorpio. So my this King of Cups is my um spirit guide card. Um you could be this person could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. There's a spirit guy here that's supporting you, or there's a loved one that already passed over for you, Virgo uh, Cancer. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. 
Um, somebody already passed over my condolences. They could be guiding you. Some of you guys are ha are still having trouble healing from a loss, okay? Sorry to hear that. But that could be the person that's supporting you. An ancestor, a guy. What's the, what's the king of cups? This could be a man here that could be passing. What's the king of cups? Or you just have a really strong, deep emotional bond with this person that's passing away or that passed away. What's the king of cups? The hangman in reverse, Pisces. What's the king of cups with the hangman in reverse? Page of wands. <clears throat> Some of you guys, this could be you losing a, ch not losing a child in that way, but I'm saying like if a child is not yours, if you've built some sort of emotional connection with this child and it's just time for you to move on with your life here, that could be painful. Okay. The hangman in reverse too is like stagnation. It's um impulsivity. It's like withdrawal, being disinterested. So I feel like you are detaching yourself from something. There's something that you're detaching from. Okay, you could be trying. You could just be grieving the loss of somebody that you thought that you was gonna be with for a long time, or have a, spend a life with, or share a life with. Or like I said, it's a child that um you built a bond with them, but you didn't know they weren't your child at the time. The page of wands, though, is like good news. It's like a new exciting plans. It's communication. This could be um, you're just moving on. I feel like you're detaching from someone. Eight of Cups. Let's see. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? Because that could, with the Hangman in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, that's stagnation. That's like, or this is somebody. Let's see. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? The Hermit, Virgo. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Hermit? Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and the Seven of Cups. Mm, yeah, it's about, for some of you, it is about a child that's not yours. Okay, I don't think nobody's child is passing away. I really hope not. That's horrible. But, um, somebody could look sick, like, in the face. Okay, but they, they cloak themselves a lot. So I feel like this is you. Your heart is telling you to detach from somebody and move on. I feel like you're starting over fresh with the Page of Wands. It's like you're looking forward to the future. But this Page of Cups in reverse, somebody has a really mean, envious, jealous-hearted spirit. Okay, this person is confused. They don't know where they're at in life. This could be somebody too. I was getting for Virgo. Somebody has a mental health disorder. They could actually like, for some of you, potentially take themselves out because they're stuck. And a bunch of heartbreak and pain, but they like to hide it. I really don't feel like they're doing a lot of introspection. They're they're covering up their pain and trauma by causing havoc. Okay, this could be an older man. For some of you, it doesn't have to be. You know, it doesn't have to be old or anything, but... Somebody's just stuck. They're stuck in this illusion. This person has abandonment issues too. Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here is faking their happiness. They're not really happy. Somebody's like depressed. They need to see a counselor, a therapist, a psychiatrist or something. This person, they're getting some sort of bad news. Somebody could be getting bad news about their health. They could be back and forth into the doctor. Okay. Mm, I don't know, child. What's the, and they're worried too about how they look to other people. So this is somebody that's just, I feel like this person, they could be passing away because of a broken heart. Like they just are not, I don't, yeah, the devil and the death card. Somebody is just not getting it together. What's the, what's the seven of cups right here? Ace of Wands. What's seven of cups? Ace of Wands. Somebody could be passing away because of a sickness or a disease or something. Three of Pentacles.
you, you could need to pay attention to your dream state. You could be having dreams about something surrounding this. Um, I feel like your spirit team, though, is conspiring a new beginning for you. Somebody is... There's something that you're fantasizing about that you're going to get. A lot of new doors and a lot of new opportunities are going to be open to you because of this person. Like, the loss of this person. I don't know if they're actually passing away, child. Or if you just are detaching. And it's going. you're just going to have, have to go through a grieving period. Okay? One or the other. But I feel like there's a new beginning. There's a new partnership here. You guys could be working on something creative with somebody. Okay, but, and a lot of new doors and opportunities, but, um, you know, what's the page of cups in reverse? Ace of Pentacles, I mean, yeah, this is bad news for somebody else's ass. 919 on the clock. Somebody could be getting bad news about their finances. What's the page of cups in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles? Or, um... Yeah, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. This could be new employment, a new job as well. Some of you guys have found a new job here. Or um, this is a new solid, stable offer that's coming towards you. Whatever this is, is going to eventually make this person look bad. Because it's something that they did, though, already. It's something that they did that they can't come back from. It's like, I don't know. This person is... Somebody could have been working hard on trying to give you some sort of offer, but they just won't get it together, though. Same energy I got for Virgo. Somebody just won't get their shit together, and it's too late now for them to give you anything because you're moving on to new. I feel like you're more focused on your money, your career, and this whatever this newness is with this union or this new connection. You know, I feel like you've mastered something here. There's self-mastery. You've grown. You've learned from your past mistakes, Three of Pentacles. There's new beginnings everywhere. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. The only thing we're missing is the Ace of Swords. And I feel like that's not here because there's an element of surprise. It's like you're not going to know whatever is coming in or when it's coming in until it does. Mm -hmm. I don't know, child. What's the you may soon face an unexpected loss that will affect your finances? Some of y'all have a new job in a new city or state. It could be the place where your person is. Okay. Did I just say something about the Ace of Swords? It came out in reverse. <laughs> Child, what's the you may soon face an unexpected loss? So, well, what's the ace of reverse? I mean, okay, look, it's this man, or this could be a woman in masculine energy, but it did say a man is coming or will come in, come in between you and your beloved. This person could be trying to like they want to argue, somebody is upset, they're angry. This is a lot. Of, I feel like this, this person has created a lot of animosity and conflict between y'all two. This is somebody that's abusing their position of, of authority as well. Okay, this could also be a masculine here that's finding out they're not the father of a child. The emperor in reverse is, is somebody with paternity issues. So it's causing a lot of conflict and friction. Um, something was not a success. It failed. It didn't work. Okay, it didn't work. I feel like somebody's frustrated too just because like their finances is fucked up. They just really frustrated. What's this Emperor in reverse? Nine of Swords. What's the Emperor in reverse with the Nine of Swords? Gemini Mars here, Six of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you could be moving on and healing from this person, um, Cancer, or this father figure here, this person that likes to have control over you or some sort of power over you. I feel like you're just moving forward. This person is nervous about that shit. They're nervous about it. This is like uh, you moving into like peaceful and calmer waters. It's like this person is upset, I feel. They made the wrong decision. Somebody made the wrong decision. Now they stuck over there or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Some of y'all are getting custody of a child. Like, because somebody is not a good, like, they're not a fit parent. They can't take care of they, this child. What's the, these or these children, if it's multiple kids. But what's the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, somebody. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Swords? judging in reverse yeah this is 
This is a mess. Okay. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, somebody's looking to pick a fight. Okay. Because they, 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 they're getting some sort of loss here. You may soon face an unexpected loss. I feel like that's they ass. I don't know. It could be you. <laughs> so I don't know. But that affects your finances and cause constraints. Plan ahead and budget for a rainy day. Somebody could be having to like move. Because they're lacking structure, st structure uh, stability, security. So somebody's mad, uh, Cancer. Ace of Swords in Reverse is argument, hostility, is animosity. This person here, they don't like your ass. And it's like, oh, well, bitch. <laughs> oh, well, should have did what the fuck you did. <laughs> you know? Oh, my hair look crazy today. But I see with the Judgment in Reverse, there's like false accusations here. There's gossiping. Okay. Somebody's getting bad karma. Their judgment is not looking too good here. Somebody could have lost a court case. Someone is mad as hell. There could be a... Damn, I just got that strong. There could be a restriction that's lifted because this person's going to have to move or something. There could be some sort of restriction, a geographic uh, uh, restriction being lifted. If you have like a, a court case going on in a certain city around or a state around your family and a child's father, child's mother, and y'all got like, you know, custody battle and shit like that. It could be like geographic restrictions. So that way the person, this person could be able to see their child. So there could be a restriction on you. Like you can't move. Like say if you are, you're in Florida, you can't move to fucking uh, Paris. Okay. You can't, you can't move. Like the restriction is, it has to be in a contiguous uh, counties in your state for some of you. That could be the case for somebody. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, What's the judgment in reverse? Like, I feel like somebody's like cursing somebody out or wanting to fight or they're trying to pick an argument. What's the judgment in reverse, child? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo here. What's the judgment in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles? The strength card in reverse, Leo. This might be a Virgo, Leo, Cusper. Hmm. Some sort of plan here didn't work. They failed miserably. Whatever this is, they try to do. Let's let's see. <laughs> or they getting ready to try to do because this could be seventy two hours for some of you. This is the past. Called a case. Somebody could have called a case in court, but it says sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, etc. Then we have NTU. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive. <laughs> like divination, divination abuser legal issues somebody is going to fucking spiritual jail for abusing divination okay doing magic continuously or um they're actually going to uh jail here and they somebody could be doing like justice magic to try to get the courts to get things to go in their favor <laughs> yeah cyber bullying somebody could be going to jail for being a fucking cyber bully or this person has threatened uh has a uh, gotten other people to do that shit behind the scenes to somebody so the strength card in reverse is like somebody here feeling weak they're at a very weak spot in their life knight of pentacles is like a strategic somebody's being strategic methodical with some sort of plan here mm. this is why you bitches right now are getting ready to lose out on a lot Okay, like, I don't know. That's what you hoes get. But let's see. <laughs> That's exactly what you get. I mean it from the bottom of my heart, too. Who does Emperor right here in reverse? Obsessive lover. Girl fight. Forcer. Cock blocking. This person, they just want to start an argument. Somebody is a loser. What's the Emperor in reverse? Somebody's obsessed with this masculine. What's the Emperor in reverse? block yeah this person is blocked for sure okay you could have blocked them on you know uh, your social medias or um they just blocked out of your energy they cannot affect you energetically what's the emperor in reverse with blocks their finances are for sure blocked carless yeah this could be somebody that's not having a car who i got that for uh or they could be losing their car mint for virgo i got that i channeled that in virgo's reading no car repo, car issues. 
What's this Emperor in Reverse with the Block and Carlos? Keeping a promise. What's the Emperor in Reverse? Insecure. Tired of drama. Hmm. This Emperor in Reverse is giving like a, a father figure that's not the father of a child. And they could have blocked this comic feminine or something. But um what what's uh what's keeping a promise? Let's see. Some of y'all see an engagement ring here. Some of y'all could be getting engaged or married. Definitely it's, it's over here. <laughs> like some of y'all or this person could be married. This person is getting fed up. This could be somebody that's with someone else. They could be married with they could be married to someone else, but they're losing stability, security. They're not able to take care of this fake ass family that they created. They can't keep up with it. Because I feel like they did that shit because they're trying to what impress you or make you jealous or whatever the fuck. It didn't work. Now they're tired of the drama or whatever the case may be. This person feels like they have to keep a promise to somebody that they would to keep them impressed and it's like no what's keeping a promise let's see this person is not happy at all attracting you yeah, in reverse somebody can't manifest what's keeping a promise too busy winning that's you you're disinterested in this person you're not attracted to this person i feel like they can't it's something that they keep connecting to you that I feel like it's not working no more. It's just fucking magic. Yeah, grudge holder, investigating, definitely strong Virgo vibe. This person is evil as fuck. Somebody is nasty. This is a nasty person. And they, they're investigating, they're watching you, they're spying on you, and they're they're still upset. That's what I'm saying. This person going to end up either taking themselves out or they're going to like actually pass away from like heartbreak, pain, trauma, shit that they don't want to heal from that's sad <laughs> okay that really is fucking sad already knowing the t tantric sex that's what i'm saying like somebody here is trying to um get into your energy i'm hearing something about astral projection i got that in capricorn's reading either this last one that i did or the one before that but you already know that somebody's trying to trying to access your energy they can't do that shit no more. i feel like they've been manifesting off of you what's uh the keeping a promise or this is what they're going to be trying to do. Movie date. What's keeping a promise with movie date and attracting and too busy winning? I bet if you allow this person to come back, they'll drop that other hoe in a minute. Or they're just going to keep cheating. This is a narcissist. Yeah, fake apology. Somebody that you know really don't want to fuck with you for real. You know that. You know that somebody don't want to fuck with you really. What's this? What is this right here? <laughs> what is that? Salt or sugar. Looks can be deceiving. Yeah, this is somebody that keeps trying to cloak their energy and cloak themselves. What is this? Toxic. Somebody here could be drinking. This could be alcoholism. Okay, or something. I don't know. Somebody could be standing up. I mean, standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. Somebody is weak. They can't... Unbothered, yeah. This this person, they ain't got no defense. They can't they can't defend themselves against anything because they're the ones that's looking toxic. But they're trying to hide it though. It's with the salt or sugar card. They don't want other people to see. And I feel like you over here unbothered. You don't give a fuck. And you know, cause somebody did something to you in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. We have love story, story, and waiting. <laughs> somebody here in clout hungry and police, bro. I swear, as soon as you get with this person, they gonna cause all hell. They're gonna cause drama this person. They really gonna that they really gonna turn it up then. <laughs> I feel like that's what you're gonna call the police too, bitch. Bye. Take your stupid ass on. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna drive themselves crazy. What's this? What is this? I cannot. Yeah, grudge holder came out. Then we have ignoring. Yeah, they don't like the fact that you're ignoring them. Crush, rejected. So this could be somebody that you've known from childhood. Somebody could be drinking a lot or they're doing some sort of drugs, but this person. <laughs> mm. Ch 
child, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Oh well. Oh, let's let's see. Let me clarify that real quick. I said I was, because that could that, that could be this man that I'm channeling, but let me just see though. What is a man is coming or will come between you and your beloved? Six of Wands. Who's a man is coming or will come between you and your beloved? The Queen of Wands. I feel like you don't give a fuck. You're very confident. You're secure with yourself. You know, you could be getting a lot of attention here. You have a lot of suitors. You could have Aries in your chart, Leo. I feel like you're coming out victorious. What's the Six of Wands? You're coming out victorious in this situation or you found the love of your life and this person is going to be mad as hell. Oh, well. Queen of Swords. What's the Six of Wands, Queen of Swords? Mm, the devil in reverse. Yeah, you detach from that stupid ass. <laughs> feel like you set boundaries with them or you're speaking out direct. You could be speaking out about this because this person could be mentally and emotionally abusive. I don't know if they're physically abusive or not. They could be for some of you. But they definitely mentally and phys uh, mentally and emotionally abusive. For sure. We got the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands right there. Who this Queen of Wands? The Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Who the Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles? The Ten of Cups, yeah. I feel like Michelle, the Empress. Did I say the Ten of Pentacles? I meant to say the Ten of Cups. This would definitely be somebody you got kids with or something like that. Uh, Cancer. I feel like you're going to be speaking out about this. You're going to have a lot of people supporting you too. Because you're going to be telling it all. You're going to tell them they stupid ass. Somebody's a, somebody's a weirdo. They're abusive. And they are narcissistic. They're trying to make themselves look good. And they're over here deteriorating, literally. Like they're falling apart, this person. But they want to keep looking like they... I don't know. This person's going to drive themselves insane. I feel like just let them do that then. <laughs> okay, whatever it is, that's on their ass. You taking your power back? I feel like they ass going to end up getting fucking embarrassed. I see your happily ever after coming through a faded and a destined connection. This person going to feel left out in the cold. Give me a card. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Yeah, you could be feeling like grumpy or frustrated right now. Just start to stay calm. It's chaos going on. This is magic too, though. Some of y'all need to cleanse your energy. You know, if you're into spell work, do a banishing spell. It works like a charm. Go on Pinterest and look up a banishing spells. Full moon in Libra. Find a balance. Yeah. Full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. Did we just have a new moon in Scorpio? I think it was new moon. First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Yeah, somebody is assessing the situation. First, we have Virgo, Aries in a chart. We got Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, and Capricorn. Let me see something. Yeah, we just had a new moon in Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck here, new moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. So, yeah. Unexpected wealth and abundance will find you before the year ends. <laughs> Somebody is mad. Anyways, um, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Hopefully it resonated for, for you. Hopefully you got some clarity about your situation. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.